Hello people, back at it again, the Scooter Bandit here with another video of review of the Okai ES200E electric scooter. Today I want to discuss power, the tires, I want to discuss the folding mechanism. Portability, and I want us to discuss price and the bang for the buck. Is it worth it or not? Well, let's get into the video, Bandit family. I'm glad to see you with me. I hope to be doing plenty more of these reviews. Oh, look at her! Isn't she a beauty? Well, okay, let's jump right into it. Here's your power button right here. Turns on and off. Just like that, we're ready to roll. It has three. It has three speeds: eco, sport, and uh, friendly. It has an app to go with it. You can unlock. I don't really like the app per se. It's not the best. They need to do better. You're supposed to be able to do things you can't. That's one flaw I have against it. Other than that, it works really good. Turns off, on and off for me. It goes 15 miles per hour. Not bad. 15.5. If you're cruising down the hill, maybe a little bit faster, but... It has a mechanism mechanism in it to where it will it will kind of slow you back down. Um, smooth ride altogether. I really love it. I, this is my second one. I had an Uber scooter, eight hundred or sixteen hundred. We'll get into that one on another video. But this is the Okai. Black and white. There's not many accessories that I can find for it, which I wish that's another thing I wish I could get. I would like to know what battery or if I can get extra batteries. So I do have a longer life in it. It, it goes long range, 25 miles, give or take, depending on weather and all the above. But in all reality, you'll probably even get less with that, especially if you're using sport mode on it. So I would like, you know, something a little, you know, more better for that, like another battery or something. But yeah, it is what it is. I really love it. It does go far. We're going to do a, a little range test uh, on part two of this. Now folding here, this is what I want to get into next. After the tires. 10 inch non-punctured tires. Won't go flat. Just lovely. Works. I, I, I'm not afraid of going over glass or anything. I ain't got to worry about getting another tire, replacing the tire and the inner tube, all that, finding out where to do it. Da, 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 da. That's one thing eventually I would like to be setting up. Later on, I have a channel to where you can get all those needs for any type of scooter, maybe eventually. And now this sucker is really one of the best ones I can, as folding, so easy. All you do is see this little attachment right there, pull up. Push down, and then on the back, there's this mechanism. Boom. Now the weight does get you a little bit. It weighs 50 some odd pounds, 51, 50, 51 pounds ish. So it's not the lightest, but it's it's really it's it's decent, better than uh, some other ones. And then 
press this button. Boom. Just like that, within seconds, back up and going. Now I want to get on to price. I paid 500 for it, and it gets me everywhere smooth. Rides beyond belief beautiful. Is it worth it? Yes. The Scooter Bandit approves. Okay, folks, please like and subscribe for more videos. Help the channel out. Scooter Bandit. And I'm out.